Katenda says while the church has a social responsibility to instill acceptable behavior among its followers, the social impact of the economic crisis in a country with a very high unemployment rate cannot be overemphasized. Individuals often adopt strategies which includes young women tending to prostitution or engaging in multiple secret and usually dangerous relationships for economic benefits. He stresses that young men would tend to criminal activities and older men taking advantage of young women. So the economic situation in other words, the housing situation in other words, in Windhoek and other places, is creating more problems. Especially young girls are forced to sleep anywhere and date anyone, which is very dangerous. So that's what uh, I would say. We can, we can blame them, but uh, in many ways I do believe that uh, we also have to make sure that uh, this generation must have answers for this generation. We are not answerable to people who are close to the end of their lives. Namibia's extreme poverty line stands at less than $300 per month for food for households. And according to Nampal's weekly crime report, over 70 crimes were recorded alone in the last two weeks countrywide. These crimes are mostly linked to GBV and range from rape including minors, murder, suicide, theft and robbery at gunpoint, culpable homicide, wildlife crimes and illegal drug dealings, among others. Lucas Katenda, who will also on Sunday in Ondangwa be sworn in as bishop of the reformed evangelical Anglican churches of Namibia, urges government to reintroduce Bible study in schools in order to instill moral values from a grassroots level. You will end up harming the next person and harming yourself, harming children and harming society. So, the, it's a great understanding which is lacking there. And for me, it is the Bible which is not talking. You have to place the Namibian church in the context of history before you even come to the liberation uh, story. It was the Christian missionaries who brought education to Namibia. The bishop further says he is puzzled about government that eliminated Bible studies in the school curriculum while the church introduced education in Namibia. Katenda is also a psychological counselor and qualified midwife. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Vanhoek.